Hey guys, how are ya? I have been working on so many big projects lately and I can't believe I just finished my dining table. It is right there in all its glory and I am just so pleased about that. But I do have some big plans. I think I wanna make my coffee table next. However, I still feel like my bathroom needs a little bit of love. One of the first things I did when I moved in here was put like a peel and stick tile down in a hopefully renter friendly way. So just for reference, this was my old bathroom tile, except this is actually what's currently in my kitchen. And this is my new bathroom tile, which I did using like grout and these tiles that I cut up and I love it. The only other thing I did in there was I like got these plastic bottles with the printed labels that I did with my Cricut and those things make me very happy. But there are some more things I want to do. So I thought I would do that this week. Let's go. Actually, just a second, because I just got a notification that I have a delivery downstairs. So I just wanna say thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I love ThreadUp and um, I'm so thankful they're actually offering you a discount code, but I will tell you what that is after I tell you a little bit more about them. So they are an online thrift shop and consignment shop and I love that because I now live in a small town. So it just makes thrifting fun and easy and they ship it right to my front door, which is just so convenient as well. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got. The first thing I got was this pretty skirt by Ann Taylor Loft. I got it for only $12.99, which was 78% off of the retail price. I styled it with an oversized sweater and I think it looks so cozy and nice tucked in. I also felt this skirt would go perfectly with this sweater from Cooperative. I got it for $13.99 and the original price was $60. I also thought it was perfect just tucked in the front of the skirt and I thought the speckled design it has all over was a really fun touch. This dress is very sweet and very me, it's silence and noise, and it really makes an outfit all on its own with the pretty way that it flows and sways. All I need are some nice booties and a purse and I'd be ready to go. And speaking of a purse, I got this green leather purse which I think is a really beautiful color. I love that it has different compartments and has a nice clean design. I thought this sweater from Aerie would go perfectly over the baby doll dress. It's brand new with tags, an amazing oversized fit, and a really pretty neutral color. I think it'd be perfect for me to wear lounging around the house or taking trips to buy supplies as I do every single week. And finally, I picked out this stunning dress from the Odell's and I'm just obsessed with this. The design is stunning, the frills are just perfectly placed, the color is super cute and spunky, and I feel like all you need are some booties and it's winter ready. Again, I'd like to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Use the link in my bio for an extra 30% off your first order with my code DELIA. Okay, so my current shower situation, I replaced the curtain with like this nice waffle textured curtain. It's super nice, but I haven't yet changed the rod. <laughs> and if I were to show you the rod, I mean, this is not it. This is, this is, what is this? I am just gonna switch that out. I know it's a little thing, but honestly, I swear, it's sometimes those little things that make me so happy. So I got this black rod from HomeSense. It was like $19 and I had to install it. But actually before I even do that, the first thing I'm gonna do is swap out the little rings for these plastic ones. I wanted black ones, but all the black ones that I found were metal and I've had metal black ones before. They make this screeching sound against the rod and I cannot handle that. So I went with clear. This just looks so much better than the rusted white one. If one day I can find these in black, I will replace them. But so far, it looks so much better. Hey, 
So the next thing I really want to do is a link to the floors, actually. I switched out the tiles already. Now, usually I think when you're doing tiles in a real house that you own, you would take off the baseboards so that the edges don't need to be 100% perfect. And you put the baseboards on, it covers just a little bit of the edge, your edges look perfect. I couldn't do that, obviously, because this is supposed to be rental friendly. So I just did my best to get good edges, and I wouldn't say I did the best job. I did okay. However, there are some edges, like specifically around the toilet area and like on this back wall where like my cuts weren't the best. So I wanted to cover it with something and I saw that there was like this like adhesive trim but then I wasn't sure if it also had to stick to the baseboard which I didn't want to destroy the baseboard with something that's sticky that would peel it off or peel off paint after. But then I saw this like weather stripping stuff at Home Depot that's totally not meant for this at all. But I thought if I cut it in half, would it work? And I could just stick it to the floor and that's what we're gonna try. Let's give it a shot. Maybe it'll work, you never know. so good. So the weather stripping literally looks a million times better than without it. I would say that one is a success, a nice little hack. Now, the next little upgrade I want to do in here is a little bit random. This bathroom has this mahogany vanity that isn't really my style, but it is nice. Now the thing with it that I want to fix is actually some of the water damage that's there. Like you can see there's parts kind of all over where like the stain has completely lifted. So I want to try if I can and like just color those areas. It's almost like someone tried to do that but they used a red marker. So here is kind of like a close up look at what I'm talking about. Just like completely sections missing. And it's like that a little bit of everywhere on this. In this edge, it's like they tried to do the red thing and I want to fix it just to make it look good. Okay, so just look at that. There is not a spot of water damage or red mark to be seen. I feel like this is a huge success. I'm so glad that I did that and it was so easy as well. So as a complete side note, should I cover this with contact paper? I'm thinking maybe I'll do a marble contact paper in the future or should I just live with this color as is? That's the question. The next thing that I wanted to do in here is upgrade all the little like hardware pieces. There's like hooks, a hand towel holder, proper towel holder, and a toilet holder, obviously. I want to upgrade them to the holders that I had in my last apartment. Exhibit A, all my hardware is in here. Toilet paper holder, check. Hmm. Hand towel holder. And my two hooks. So I think the first thing I'll do probably is uninstall all the existing ones. Currently, I have this style pretty much everywhere, even this hook thing. And then over here, don't love it. But yeah, I feel like these will make a big difference. And my whole goal with what I'm doing in this bathroom is to keep some of the base elements, like the vanity, it's a base element, and it's real wood. It now looks practically brand new with no water damage. It's like a delicate piece, and I want to keep that, but still modernize some aspects around it. That's kind of what my goal was, so. Oh, thank you. You made me tea. Love you. Love you. Give me one to try forever and I feel 
so free Oh my sweet baby And I think to myself Oh, that's not even it. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try nope. forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them so before i start patching the holes one thing that i'm just going to do is take some sandpaper this is meant for a machine but i'm obviously going to do this by hand and i'm just going to soften any areas that are a little bit elevated and i am wearing a mask because you're sanding paint Hello, no, 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 no. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the goal. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, no, 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 no. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. I am officially done with the wall patching and the wall patching actually went fine it was more so like uninstalling stuff that took a little bit longer than I expected I have learned to assume that things are gonna take just longer than I initially think always without a doubt 100% of the time just without exception so as I mentioned tomorrow I'm gonna come back and install the new hardware and stuff so that is all for today I'm gonna go do some editing and then go to bed okay See you tomorrow. Hello you guys, it is now the next day and I have been just busy. Oh, also, I can't get enough of that light. That was one of the best purchases I've ever made. I can't believe I also got it for $100 off of $150. I got it for $50. Oh, also, <laughs> my linen closet is actually mostly my DIY supplies. I'll close that, we'll never show you that again this morning. I booked a little trip with my husband. We booked to go to Cuba and we wanted to go somewhere else, but the flights just got so expensive. We want to go in December and it just was too expensive to go anywhere else. So that is where we booked. And I was thinking of vlogging the trip and maybe having a bit of a spin towards like going to the markets and looking at some of the decor stuff that's there. I don't know how much there's gonna be there, but I was thinking of doing that. Um, I was going to ask if you'd be interested in that, but then I figured, you know what, like I really just personally like doing it anyway because it helps me remember my trips a lot better. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I hope you'll watch it. But even if you don't, I hope I just enjoy it and it's a good time and relaxing. So, today the plan is to fix all the patches that I've made all over the bathroom now. Paint those up. My husband this morning, while I was doing some work, went to Home Depot and color matched a little swatch. And what I did to get the swatch was I took off um, an outlet. There's like this much drywall space that usually is painted underneath the outlet. So I just took an X-Acto knife and I just cut a little square out of that. This is my paint. Wahoo! Wahoo! 
Ooh, I have a new toilet paper folder. Looking good and sleek and modern and simple too. I want to show you the main view of the bathroom and the difference that all the changes that we've made so far have made. That main view that I'm talking about, which I'll show you in a second, is what I wanted to tackle first because it was what was bothering me the most because it was also what I saw the most. But before I do that, I want to bring in two things that I actually purchased. So this is the rug. I wanted something that was a little bit vintagey that would tie in the mahogany vanity with the rest of what I've kind of created. Now when I say that was a challenge to find, that is an understatement. I can't even believe how many hours I spent trying to find this rug. Shall I show you? Like, here we go. Ready? One, two. It's perfect! And the second little piece that I got in here is this little bath stool. I saw this at HomeSense. I thought it was so cute. I love the texture that it has in the wood grain. I love the color. And I just thought it was like a really sweet addition. And I'm just gonna set that down and then I'll show you the view. So the view that I am talking about that I really, really like here and that was the focus of today's video, really my goal at least, was this view because it is the view I see the most often. And I just love it so much. I really love the amount of texture that we added in and like where everything's coming together. I like that I managed to find a rug that actually matches the vanity. Do you see how like the tones pull together? And that those tones also go up to here for a little accent. I do just also want to mention, there was a reason I spent so much time looking for that bath mat. It is pretty much the only piece of art <laughs> or anything really pretty that you would see when you look into the bathroom. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't just a solid color. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I think it furthers the point that sometimes these small little things that can be upgraded fairly easily make a huge difference. They make you feel so much better about your space. The vanity not having those watermarks makes me feel like it's brand new. I love the little additions that I've added around. Even the hooks and the way that those sit on the wall look so much better than the towel bar. There's so much more that I wanna do in here. For example, I wanna figure out some sort of frame for the mirror. I think I wanna swap out the light that's in here. And obviously all the little fine details of art and such that should be upgraded. I might also do something with the countertop. I don't know, I haven't decided. But I just wanna say thank you for tuning in every week. Thank you so much for watching. It means everything to me. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that you enjoy, and I will see you next week. Also note this plant that I staged here, just, you know, just cause. But that makes no sense. That shouldn't even go there. I just want to say thank you once again to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get 30% off your first order, you can click the link in my description box and use my code DELIA.